when you walk up to the vehicle with the key, it has the full proximity system and it senses the key when you get up close to it. And it'll turn on this light here, this approach light here on the side. Also, it turns on the headlights and taillights. Now these don't last very long. So it's kind of like uh, helps you out when you get close to the vehicle, but they don't stay on very long. So you kind of have to get right on in. If you hit the unlock button here on the key fob, or if you just open the door, you see those bright lights under the vehicle. They're mostly under the vehicle, but they do help out with getting in and out of the vehicle, seeing what you're stepping in. Uh, there's also this uh, infinity badge that shines here on the ground. Um, but as I hit the unlock button, you notice these lights go out quickly, even the, the tail lights and, and headlights. So you kind of have to get in the vehicle fast. When the headlight switch is in the complete off position and you have the parking brake on, uh, you still have these very bright LEDs here in the front. They could definitely be mistaken for headlights. Uh, and this is where you don't have any tail lights or anything like that. Uh, but if so, if you accidentally leave the vehicle, uh, sw the switch in off position and start driving, uh, then you can start driving like this where you have no tail lights and you think you have your headlights on when you don't. Now I have the parking lights on and basically the parking lights are, they still have these very bright white LED lights here in the front. And uh, basically they are kind of like daytime running lights. So let me just turn off, turn down the brightness on the camera because these are so bright here, here in the front. Um, so you can see it's like this full white LED strip all the way across the, the top here. And also, there's an infinity badge here in the front that's illuminated, which looks really nice. There's also an amber side marker. It's a little bit overshadowed by these bright white lights, but it does have it here in the front. The tail lights wrap around to the side of the vehicle, kind of blending in with the side marker there. They are red in color. And it's a nice bright LED. Not overly bright, but they're nice and bright. Look pretty good. Turn signal here in the front. Once again, it's very bright and it basically just uh, replaces that white light that was there. Now it's just an amber light. And let me go ahead and turn the brightness down again. So you see what it looks like. Basically the same thing, just very bright. Uh, there's also a turn signal indicator here on the side mirror and it is an amber in color. You can see it. It's pretty bright this direction. And then the turn signal here in the back is amber and it is separate from the red portion and it's in a fairly high position i guess hopefully you can see that tell that it's a different color camera makes the colors a little bit weird sometimes when i have the brightness turned up but it is an amber turn signal here in the back led then the brake lights and reverse lights uh, are integrated into the tail lights here and then you have the third brake light here at the top of the glass Okay, so you can see the lights there shining in front of the vehicle. Uh, it kind of looks like you might have your headlights on, but you don't. So let's actually turn on the headlights right there. And so you can see the difference there. All right, so this is the, this is the low beams. And it actually dims that white light, that white line there at the top. Uh, and it uh, basically turns on the projector. So this, this headlight system is a projector and a reflector. So the projector is the low beams. So you can see that projector there at the bottom. And then the high beams join in with the, uh, with the reflectors there in the center. We'll turn those on in a second. We'll also see what it looks like going, driving on the road and stuff. Uh, so it has a cutoff, and as I dip the camera down, you'll see it right there. It's about, it's actually pr fairly high, two and a half, three feet off the ground. And uh, basically, from this angle, I can look directly at those projectors. They're not blinding my eyes or anything, you know, no, no strain whatsoever. Uh, but it's only, the bright light is mostly very close to the ground. All right, so there's the high beams. There's the low beams and the high beams. And the high beams have some lights that are close to the vehicle too, which is interesting. And then it also, of course, has the light that projects down the road more. All right, so you can see the roof. Well, it's very bright. <laughs> so let me turn the brightness down. All right, so now the reflectors there are adding to uh, the projector there on the outside. Hopefully you can see that. 
And you can see some of the light is shining close to the vehicle. Those reflectors kind of bounce some of the light here, kind of like around this way. And you'll see going down the road that it kind of actually kind of helps a little bit. The car, cargo light uh, is right here. It's kind of like an over the shoulder type light and it, it's, it's supposed to shine in here. So it's not all that great. Um, I have the camera turned up the brightness and the, of course these parking lot lights are shining in here so you can actually see in here but you know where those lights are not shining like this right in here is dark you know so there's not it's it's basically inadequate uh, cargo lights and these are kind of cool accent lights here they give a little bit of light uh, here which help out actually better than the interior light to some degree uh, but these need to be better for the cargo light uh, now there is a light right here for the third row and when you fold these seats down it kind of adds a light where the cargo space expands inside of the back door does have a nice little puddle light there uh, but there's no light here in the pocket and there is a light in here in the handle kind of subtle acts kind of accenting but also kind of useful too um, and then there's an infinity illuminated seal plate here in the threshold and you can see the back seat is illuminated uh, by these lights right here here on either side of the sunroof and there's some USB and climate control illumination but then there's also a uh, an outlet there that's not illuminated no illumination there and we have black interior so it doesn't really help out with showing off the lights but you get the general idea third row seats pretty decent as far as the light it just has that single light there nothing special back here Inside of the driver's door does have the puddle light. Uh, once again, no lights here in the pocket. There is a light here in this pocket though. All these are backlit illuminated, including the, the presets for the seat. There's a very subtle light in the floorboard. You can see there's a light here in the, the infinity badge here in the sill plate. And the center lights there are illuminated, this, this center area. This, this front area, it, like is, there's some pluses and minuses, which we'll see. So now I have the interior lights on, so you can see what it looks like. When I turn off the interior lights, then we're left with the backlit buttons here on the steering wheel. It's pretty basic. Nothing, there's a little bit of a color code button right there, but most everything is a white color. Here on the door, you can see that little handle has a light in it. The lower pocket does not have light. You can see here to the left, the steering column. Uh, there's the dimmer switch for the interior gauges right in here. And then there's the gauges there. And they look good. The screens look pretty good. You just got to get the brightness right. Uh, the brightness is, I'll show you that in a second. It's kind of funny. Uh, so there's all the backlit buttons. Uh, the wireless charger here uh, has a little light, which is good. And then all these are backlit. Now this these cup holders have a little tiny itty bitty light there. Um, you put a, light, put a cup or something in there, it doesn't really shine through. It's just, it's more of an accent, accent light. It's not really useful, really. It looks kind of cool, but be neat if you, like when you, like other vehicles, you put a bottle or something in there and then the light illuminates the bottle. But this doesn't do that. Still pretty cool, I guess. This compartment here in the center, um, does have a light in it and climate controls back here are illuminated um, but you can see there's a light right here I don't know if you can tell see my hand has a, a light on it if we follow that up all the way up to the top you see it's coming from right here it's kind of like a greenish color right here and that kind of gives you a little bit of just moonlight here in the center of the vehicle when it's super duper dark that helps out a lot and of course up here we have the uh, the backlit buttons. You have the ability to turn on all the interior lights or just individual lights. Uh, and the buttons to turn on the lights are backlit, which is good. Some vehicles miss that mark. And there's the rear view camera, rear view mirror. And then the buttons on the bottom are illuminated for the home link, garage door opener control, and on the right side is the adjustment for the camera system. All right, so the visor does have a light and it has a little automatic turn on when you open this up for the mirror. Okay, so let me do the dimmer switch here because the dimmer switch uh, is basically like, it gets to a certain point and it's like full blast and it adjusts a lot more lights than just the gauge. 
Uh, but once you get below that full blast, then it's just very, very, very subtle adjustments all the way down. Uh, and that's the lowest you can go right there. And then you pull it back up. Very, very subtle. And then, of course, that last press is just full blast in your face. So it's a little bit too bright. Uh, so there's basically one notch below max is where I keep it. It's pretty good. The glove compartment uh, does have a light in it. And there's a very subtle, very subtle uh, light in the floorboard. You probably can't. Let me turn the brightness on the camera way up. I don't know if you can see that. It's a very, very subtle light. Um, like, I have to blast it with the camera in order to, for you to even see it. It's not even barely noticeable with your eyes. Now, also, I have to blast the camera brightness up again so you can see this compartment underneath, uh, under here, I don't know if you can see that, uh, does have a, a light. Uh, but it's not very bright, but it's bright enough to where if you have something there, you'll be able to see it, hopefully. Here's the headlight pattern on a fence. So you can see there's the high beams, there's the low beams. And uh, these are the type of headlights that um, that move back and forth, you know, so they have the the movement. And this one seems to work pretty good. It, it doesn't really, it's not moving so much towards annoying. Oh, it's actually somewhat functional. Even on the, like I, I drive on flat roads that are not very curvy, so, you know, I don't really get the full benefit of the, the motion lights, you know. But, um, but I can see where these could be useful in certain scenarios. And the automatic high beams so far have been working okay. They're, they're, it's one of those things where um, they usually don't work very well, but this one seems to be working good. So as we drive, you'll notice with the low beams that there is a cutoff, uh, like a little shadow on the oncoming lane. Uh, so just because the pattern isn't perfectly, that's intentional. Just because the pattern isn't like perfectly flat uh, doesn't mean there's a problem. That's actually intended to, uh, to be a little bit lower on the oncoming lane. You can see that cutoff. Now these, this cutoff does seem a little bit high uh, so we'll see how it goes as far as other cars. But yeah, I guess that lower portion kind of helps out with not blinding on oncoming drivers. I think it just kind of looks high on there on the sides, which gives, gives good visibility with the low beams there on the sides of the road. So there's the low beams, and then there's the high beams. You can see that, see the difference there. And yeah, these look pretty good. The, the high beams are not as like impressive as you might think. They are good, They're, these are definitely good headlights. Uh, but it's like the low beams are already filling in almost everything. And then you go to the high beams, it just kind of, you know, adds, it does add a significant amount of light, but you already got lo good low beams and it just kind of fills in the gaps there for the high beams. Now it does fill, shine some light close to the vehicle, which is interesting when we put the high beams on. Uh, usually high beams focus more on the distance and not so much the closeness of the vehicle here on the side. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I think you can see that on that corner there where it's actually there on the sides of the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, I think these are, these are, pretty good headlights. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. I mean, it's not like they're... Yeah, I think these are great. I think I would say that they're, they're really good. They're, they're not like the best or anything, but they're up there. They're up there. As far as visibility um, and the... It's not really like patchy or anything like that. There's no... You have the combination of projector and reflector. And then... So they do a good job of overlapping that enough to where you don't see any like significant patchiness in the road or or anything like that. And also the motion of the headlights, uh, those the left right right motion with the motion of the steering wheel, uh, 
just kind of is smooth and very very no, it's just not noticeable you know unless I like even when I move the steering wheel it's very subtle you know some vehicles it's like every little tiny micro motion of the steering wheel you make it's like this this you know moving light in front of you but this one's just very subtle it does a good job of being functional without being uh, a little bit annoying so yeah I'm, I'm impressed with these headlights